And next story where we see in the Gleaner is one of the phone card issue. And it is SVL again. I try to get some market. One thing I like with SVL thing, I think they are, they are shrewd business people and them know how to do the thing. And them always I try get for them part of the share or part of the pie. All right. So here, so now we see where, as you know, SVL sells what them call pin codes. And pin codes is when you got this lotto machine or the cash pack machine and buy your phone card and you get the number. See? They can either give you a slip with the numbers on it and a whole heap of number the or something there. The more time I wonder. <laughs> or them can download it straight to your phone. So they are in the tele te, um the telecom business in in that regards. SBL also claim that they sell phone card for flow. And they attack phone card now and not the pin code. But flow is just one third of the market. Seeing? So SBL was moving a bigger part of the market, which is selling Digicel phone card. SBL also sell the pin code for Digicel, but they now nah sell the phone card now. So they decide so they want a piece of the phone card business. And the article, again, it is very important to read these articles because it can give you an idea of how the business or how an industry operate. So what I'm seeing, what I, what what we get from this article is that Digicel phone card, again, Digicel would be the manufacturer. And let us look at the, the supply chain. This is a contract, a company what I'm called Interlink to distribute the phone card. So this is make the phone card in a sense, give all of the phone card to Interlink and them give the phone card on what I'm called. Is, is it a discount? Call it a discount. So if the phone card value $100, it would give, give them as say, $70 then approximately. Don't quote me upon it for me don't know the figures and the article never said the figures, but me just tell you how the, the, the market or the business operate. So they would get it below the money we write on the card. So that would be their markup. So what them do now, Interlink will sell the card to retailers again. And when we talk about retailers, these are the people who interface with the general public. So Interlink also would sell the card below the price that you see on the card to these people. And then, then we put for the mark upon it and it reached the public. That's how I get from the article. All right, so watch here now. Supreme Ventures decides, uh, and this is a twist in, in, in the story. Because in the first story, we see where Supreme Ventures has claimed by Fair Trading Commission I try to prevent people from entering a market. And in this particular story where I deal with the phone card, we say Supreme Ventures are fight to get into a market. And it's crying that he's been prevented from entering the market. So it's a twist in fate. Anyways, Supreme Ventures are say them in talk with Inter Interlink. That's like them. I said, Bossy, give us some of the phone card for sell. So, Bossy, I said, What you can bring to the market, Supreme Ventures? I said, We have a wide network because we're there in a heavy Cribex and Kana, every crook and nook of Jamaica. Interlink has said that not enough for me to give a phone card. Supreme Ventures has said, yo, you hear me? If you let me in the market, me can buy that amount from you, distribute it, and make it reach the customers at 
a lower price a discounted price so supreme ventures are also the cards the, the phone cards are are, are are too expensive are being sell at a, at a high markup and they would be able to slash that markup and make it reach customer at a lower price which sound like something with a fair trade commission a push that's competition that cuts price so may i ask the question why the fair trade commission not jump on the case here and make sure say supreme ventures get for them part of the pie so the consumers them can benefit from lower prices but two things jump out at me and may i go say them one it seems like the fair trade commission own the act when there is a formal complaint file and up to now supreme ventures has not filed a formal complaint to the watchdog so it might mean that supreme ventures are too serious or supreme ventures doesn't even have a case because if they had I know them that take it to them for Supreme Ventures people, the man of people were afraid of back down for the fight. So I could analyze the case and see if Supreme Ventures has a case, which me realize that they don't have no case. That's why they have to stay put. So when we check it, as I say, these are the train we exist in the phone care distribution business. Digital are the creator or the producer digital pass it to the company what them call interlink interlink now pass it to interlink could have be what them call the wholesaler interlink now wholesale the cards to create um in in retailers and then retailers put them like a mark upon it and sell it to the john public supreme ventures one by the card from interlink so supreme ventures want to come in as a retailer so i'm the way up on the top of the train i wonder if you have visualize it but here the problem why interlink decides uh, dealing with supreme ventures will not benefit the market even though supreme ventures claim that it would have cut the price of the cards to the end users. But I could dig deeper in it. First and foremost, you have to look at the market in which them operate. The market is saturated. And when I say, when I say saturated, it means that everybody in Jamaica will want a phone card, have access to a phone card. True or false. So what that means is that there's no room for growth. You know the market, the market just dead it. And phone card has sell like how phone card sell. So Interlink has enough retailers for reach every nookie and cranny in a Jamaica. It's just that these retailers, it's very frag it's a very fragmented part of the business. Seeing? So it's a very fragmented part of the business. And them need them really now the retailers now buying the bulk that supreme ventures can buy in but the thing is all of the card that digital want for make digital and make there's not a market in jamaica that digital wants to reach that digital is not reaching all right so if it is now that Interlink, being the wholesaler, starts sell phone card to Supreme Ventures. Supreme Ventures now will be able to buy at a greater discount. I mean, at a greater uh, within, in greater bulk than any one of the existing retailers. So Supreme Ventures are going to start demand a discount from Interlink which is fair enough is a fair game if you're buying in such bulk and this is the, the name of the game if you're buying in bulk you're supposed to get deeper discount i just saw the thing set all right so with the bulk of supreme ventures i got plan to buy them i got set to interlink boss they're gonna need some discount for the care of them 
discount boss now does not give discount discount boss take discount in other words whatever price discount boss decide to put on the card it will come from digital and not really the 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 interlink boss i wonder if you understand so when Supreme Ventures are going to demand discount from Interlink, Interlink would in turn go to Digicel and beg for the discount to pass it on. But Interlink, if him go to Digicel, he need to produce or, or give Digicel some good story why he need discount. So here's the story where Interlink are going to go to Digicel with. I have a new customer where I buy a lot of card from me. But Digicel boss are going to laugh. Because Digicel has said, even when I buy more cards from you, you not buy no more from we. I wonder if you see it. Again, the argument is the market is already saturated. So the amount of cards we interlink I buy from Digicel is the amount of cards that the market needs. So with Supreme Ventures that come in at the market, it now gonna force Interlink to buy more card for no more card now gonna make. So Interlink will not be able to get a discount from Digicel because at the same amount of card they more buy from Digi. So if a 100 people want Digicel card and Digicel will make 100 card, Interlink only can purchase the 100 card. No, Interlink has got to decide how he sell the 100 card to the retailers them. And now him have a Supreme Ventures that want 50 out of it. And because him have buy a large amount, him say him have want a greater discount, but the discount now come from Digicel because Digicel only produce 100 card. So the Interlink boss has said this look like it's going to squeeze my pocket. And guess what? I'm already good with the retailers and what I have already. Because we are reaching full breadth of Jamaica, Digicel not have no problem, and me not have no problem. So, the space for Supreme Ventures are looking at the something here, or in, the, in, in, in this industry, or sector of the business. Supreme Ventures does not have the capacity to offer value to anybody. So the, inter, the interlink boss say, I already established relationship with these people. So I'm not going to really take for them food and give you. Because you ain't giving me back shit, yo. So that's the game. So Supreme Ventures want to enter the game, but they not have nothing to offer. And they want to play on the higher end of the train and that's the problem. Because they might play on the higher end of the chain where the retailers are. He might have got to dominate this stuff. But Interlink have such relationship with the retailers them already. And the thing are run smooth. So what it would amount to is redistribution of business. But no new business or new value is being created by Supreme Ventures. So Interlink could have just take some of the card from some of the people them we have already existing into um retailers and give them to supreme ventures and supreme ventures are run to the market and sell them and there now a lot of the retailers them would have to drop out of the market because supreme ventures have a bigger network and can reach a full breadth of jamaica as a one man so they have a bigger network and can flow the cards them through. So this is how Interlink boss look upon it. So after a while, Supreme Ventures alone are going to start dominate the retail sector or section of the train. And what going to happen then? No. He might go have bigger demand. On the interlink boss interlink boss cannot afford that so as I said Supreme Ventures is locked out of this market and may not think you might ever enter it at least 
not until Digicel might decide so it might break the the the, the monopoly link we have with Interlink and maybe decide to add competition on the lower part of the train. I'm gonna see where that would have benefit Digicel either. Because as I said, the market is already saturated. So Digicel have met the amount of care Digicel want to make and the cards are being fully distributed across the breadth of Jamaica. So that's the reason why Supreme Ventures not even them cry and them are crying at the media. But them can't make an official cry to FTC because them not have a case. So if you are a Supreme Venture investor, this does not mean if you sell the stock, this does not mean if you get out. Because as I said, these people are some geniuses when it comes down to business and I love them vibes. Them have, them about the business, that I like with them. And when them see the space, them are going to take it because they're that aggressive. So until next time, like, subscribe and share the thing, Bridget.